Yo guys happy new year. IP adapter just released face ID lets you generate similar face with a reference face. Three models are available, face ID, face ID plus, and face ID plus v2. The plus versions use both face ID embedding and clip image embedding to create more realistic results, and the v2 version lets you adjust the weight of the clip image embedding for more flexibility. Sounds awesome right? IP adapter plus has also updated to support it already. Thanks for their great work even at the new year time. Today let's check them together and also compare with Reactor, another very powerful face analysis tool. To use Face ID, you need to install Insight Face first. Sometimes it could be a headache if you got an error. You can also check Troubleshooting section on Reactor GitHub for help. Then update your IP adapter plus to the latest version and you will see a new node, apply IP adapter Face ID download the models and LORIS, and put them to your IP adapter model folder and LORA folder, respectively. Phew, now you are good to go. Okay, let's get started with the workflow. I tweaked the previous one a bit, so we can jump right in, and you can check previous video to catch up if you're new here. This is the new separated apply face ID node. For three models you need three settings besides loading the corresponding model and LORA. For face ID, Actually, you can keep the clip vision on. For plus and plus V2, be sure to switch the face ID V2 mark on and off correctly. It also means there are a bunch of parameters for us to try. Here are some animations I tried for these IP adapter models. In general, both face ID plus and plus V2 did good jobs, and V2 has a brighter color. Okay, let's get back to the workflow. As always, it's the turn for realistic model now. But before we do that, Let's talk about some of the parameters that affect the output. I experimented with a few of them and here are my results. Face ID itself didn't recover the face very well, but it could be a style. Plus is much better when IP adapter weight reaches 0.6, but color turns darker and more contrasted. You can find a compromise point somewhere. Plus V2 find a balance between the similarity and brightness, seems better in most cases. However, it depends on the application. Just experiment and see what you like best. I chose plus V2 model, LoRa 0.6, and IP adapter weight 0.8, and added one more IP adapter full face and reactor node as comparison. Okay, click run. Running time is long so I just skip it. Here are the results. Specifying a lower weight for IP adapter full face can make colors pop out more. So, through this way, it creates a nice contrast with the background for the animation. Face ID plus V2 also preserves the original face structure of the photo, more convincing and natural. Here are more comparisons in case you are interested, including the recolored plus V2. This is a great tool, and I'm glad we have another choice now. There are more parameters I haven't tried. Just play around and you can drop a comment to share your discoveries. Okay, hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching and Happy New Year.